Hello once again everyone and welcome to YouTube. I'm your host, Whale Cow, and together we are taking a look at Uncharted Waters Online. So, one thing I noticed playing this game on my own is that the tutorial is ridiculously long and monotonous. They tell you everything text box style and expect you to get it. So I thought I'd do some community service and put you guys through the basics. We'll be covering sailing and ship combat. Once you start the game, you end up in this school. Um, this is the British school in London, but if you pick a different nationality, you'll start somewhere else. It's basically the same, though. After completing the first introductory mission in either, let's see, Maritime, um, Adventure, or Merchant, then you'll get a ship. Once that's done, um, if you want to skip school a bit and maybe get more hands-on with your training, I'll be here to help you out. Um, first off, you just leave the school, head out into the town, Instead of pressing the map key, which brings up a map of the world, you want to click right, click down here at the bottom right, a map will appear of the town. Um, the little scales are the market, um, that's where you buy and sell things. Shipyard is very important, it's where you get ships and the components. Um, you'll start, you should start with beginner ship and cannons uh, once you complete the first couple courses in school this is where we're going however the harbor you you can actually click on the harbor straight from the minimap and it'll take you right to this port official you double click on him and a bunch of options will come up you wanna click to port this is the dock section um, you can click set sail to set sail obviously but what we're gonna look at now is provisions and employ sailor provisions is important because it's the supplies you need to survive out there based on the crew you have different amounts of provisions will give you different days worth of yeah provisions so I'm just gonna grab some food you can see your hold here how many how much cargo you got versus how much space you got you need food and water to feed the crew but you need timber and munitions to repair and shoot respectively so once that's done you pay a small amount of I forget what this in-game currency is haven't played it in too long but yeah then you hit employ sailor um, you see down here how many sailors you can fit in your ship um, starting out you won't have the aid ship so just focus on captain ship it'll be the first one under here sailors you have versus sailor maximum and then it'll give you a required amount you should typically start out with either novice or average sailor because they're the cheapest but I have maximum experience sailors because I've been around a while and I can afford the cost but once you've got at least the minimum it's time to leave port so you just want to hit sail and then it'll give you this um, you know what maybe we'll go back and get a few more provisions not sure how long that'll this will take seven days should do it okay and it gives you the weather which is somehow sunny um, I don't know <laughs> so let's get going alright so you'll appear right outside whatever town you spawned in um, again ignore my aid here an aide is an NPC character you get that'll follow you around and help you with stuff like battle and extra cargo capacity. 
But right now we are focusing on your ship. Well, mine in this case, but you know what I mean. Oh, and feel free to pause this video to try out these things as we go. Um, so we are at stop right now. You press the forward key, which is W, and that'll bring you up to sailing speed. You can press it like three or four different times to bring you up to 25, 50, 75, 100% power. Um, so yeah, once you're going a bit, you can turn. Um, turning can be a bit tricky. When you turn, you'll notice a wheel appearing behind your ship and an arrow appearing where your ship will eventually face. But since we're operating a ship via rudder, then it's going to take a while to complete the turn. If you want more exact turns, you can actually double click somewhere on the sea. Alright. Now that that's done, let's take a look at a few other tiny things. Right here is the Use Skill tab. I've got lots of skills. Um, you probably won't start with too many. Um, have to earn some more slots over time. You can go to famous people to get more skills, which level up over time. I'm just going to click on Frugality. It's an, it's either Merchant or Adventurer. Um, but it decreases the amount of water and food you use significantly. And whenever you use that, your vigor bar goes down. Um, once you're out of vigor, it, it's like magic points. Um, you need items to restore them. Uh, they don't restore over time, unlike magic points. So once you click on the item tab, items you can use show up. I have this Salmon Menwear. I don't even know if that's pronounced correctly. But as you can see, it gives me 50 more vigor, so I click on that. After a brief wait, it works. Um, you can also click Use Item, and that'll straight up give you the items that you can use. Um, the item tab I had before was just a quick item overlay. If you want all your items, you can just click on the treasure chest icon and it'll give you these. I have things to cure the plague, and I have things to repair sails. Sail repair is especially important, so try not to get caught without one. Or ten. <laughs> okay, and here is just swap boarded ship. Um, Alright. Now for a little bit of excitement. Uh, right outside your home port, you're going to see some incredibly weak pirates. Let's mess them up. So you click on a pirate or any other ship you want to fight, and this little box will appear. You hit battle. If you're too close, it won't work. But if you're outside this circle and inside this one, then it'll work. So you click battle. And this guy can't really hurt me because he's weak and I've got a uh, frigate, which you don't get to later. So I'll explain some things. You control your ship like normal. Um, and the pirates or whatever ship you're fighting will attempt to maneuver so they can shoot you with their cannons. Like that. And it'll do a certain amount of damage based on the quality and such of the cannon. How much damage it does, yada yada yada. Down here you see the cannons on your ship charging. Once they're fully charged, then they're ready to fire. But once the bar is flashing, they're overloaded, so you can do lots of damage. And of course, let us not forget the skills. The red skills that you get from the maritime are most useful here. Um, you can increase accuracy with the accuracy. Ballistics actually increases the range with which you can fire your cannons, so that's very helpful for getting an extra shot in or two. Reloading lets you reload faster. Repair helps repair you at the cost of repair materials. 
leadership, I forget what that does. But anyway, once you're ready to fire, you click on the target, and then there's a yellow to show it's within range and within facing, and then you click again and let them fly. All right. Okay. So that is how you do it. You usually get some trophy money. Depending on how tough the enemy is, you tend to get battle items from time to time. Battle items. I honestly mean any item, really. Um, but this usually isn't your primary concern when you fight, at least lower tier enemies like this. Um, so yeah. I will stop a bit here, um, show you guys some more interesting features. You click on the ship icon up here, you can go to ship parts. This is very important. Um, some items improve your ship and some can't be gone without, like cannons for instance. Cannon slots. There are lots of different varieties of cannons in this game, so pick ones that you like. Cannons and carronades are kind of basic normal shot double shot you know but this one this one's special um, you'll notice its durability is low that means if I use it too much more without replacing it it'll just break during combat but this one's very special because it's got an incendiary shot and you know that causes fires you've got the mark on your ship you can put there to be fancy these two things and these three things up here Honestly, they just give you some smaller uses that if you get them, that's good, but you know, there are other things to spend your money on first. Iron plating is very important, um, not just iron, any kind really, but the trick is you want to balance armor and loss to speed. Alright, that should be about everything in that department you go to ship information it gives you the name of the ship class uh... it is the graduation frigate you get from completing the final maritime training um, all the other basic informations here as well durability which is hp turn speed turn speed is always very important for me vertical sail controls turning horizontal sail controls forward momentum armor is your resistance to damage you can change your ship name by clicking ship name it'll be at a default at first so this ship is called the Dolphanic because I like dolphins and I liked the name Tyrannic from Star Wars was it might have been Empire at War but I digress as you can see it's a battleship Grade is zero because to increase the grade you have to do a bunch of shipbuilding crap which is so advanced that I'm only getting started in it. Alright, but that should be everything then. Um, right, up here at the top left you can see your um, supplies. My food and water is getting low so I'm going to head back to London now. Um didn't spend any munitions in those battles because I guess I didn't expend the munitions that were loaded in from last time. Um, materials are used automatically over time to repair the ship, but using the maritime ability, repair increases the lost materials in exchange for a radically increased repair speed. Once you get close enough to dock, you want to click on the port and here we are we're back so um, next thing I want to do is show you guys the shipyard um, instead of just walking around London like a noob you can open up the map by clicking there like I said before and you can click where you want to go on the map of the town 
Also, if you don't know this already, you should by now. You can hold in the right mouse button and pan like this. That's super important when you're fighting multiple enemies. Alright, so, here we are. Um, let's just go over the basics of ship maintenance. The carpenter, he can basically sell you armoring. Um, for your first ship, I might actually recommend either beech or red pine plating because it's relatively cheap. Um, the first ships you get are really fast, so you should be able to sacrifice some speed for some better armor. Next, we've got the shipwright. You can click on him to repair the ship. And obviously I don't have anything to repair you can refit the ship um, which means that you can hmm, drawing a blank here let's see Oh well. Maybe we'll get to that later. <laughs> um, rebuild, dismantlement, that's all advanced things. Um, but we should be good for now. Weaponsmith, as you might have guessed, you can go ahead and buy cannons off him. I think you might only have two cannon slots at the start of the game. Uh, the guys in these places just sell basic cannons. If you want better cannons, you should make them yourself, or have a nice friend that will not overcharge you too much. Um, things like the Vulcan do incendiary shots, and the end for cannons. I've got a, I got some demi cannons and howitzers in my inventory that I built myself. Um, Draconis is also a nice incendiary shot. You want to go a little bit cheap at first, though, so. Maybe start out with a some rapid fires, maybe some well, whatever you think would work best for you, honestly. Um, once you get a once you get going a ways in the school, it will tell you, hey, here's some free cannons. You want to equip those to your ship because they're better than anything you'll find here at the start um, also he sells special equipment for instance rams they're kinda neat but you probably won't be ramming into people too much I've already got a stern castle on me it improves melee battle which I will get to telling you guys about in a bit sailmaker he's just what you'd expect makes sails some things are really expensive and some are really basic um, you want to be careful about the sales you put in because some can radically uh, remove your remove your turn speed a final note here will be this craftsman uh, the major ports will have the basics with the craftsman you can buy ship paint and sail paint which will help you trick out your ship um, he's also got some nice beginner crafts books um, if you've got enough parts like this then you can just build your own ship however it can be pretty expensive and you'll probably wanna find someone that can buy it for you not buy it, build it, yeah. And that's about it. Alright, that is all I have to show you guys. Um, in the port, that is. Up next, we're gonna head out to sea, and I'm going to explain melee battle. And again, go ahead and stop me, press the pause button if you need a bit of time to recap. 
but we should be doing pretty well. Since I got a lot of space, I'm sparing no expense with the supplies, and we are setting sail. Alright, got some very nice ships pulling out right next to us. Um, let's find a ship to bully. Ah, here's a battle barca. Um, as far as weak ships go, they're the best you'll get. They used to be marines before they failed, apparently. Alright, so here we are in battle again. In order to commence a boarding action, you have to actually collide with the enemy ship. Which can be dangerous, because they can score critical hits by either shooting right into your front or right into your back. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Here we are, melee battle. Over time, their crew will go down, and so will yours. Um, wow, that took way too short of a time. I didn't get to explain everything. Alright, um... Alright guys, so... Down here is the interface that we missed earlier. On your left is you. On your right is your opponent. Um, top is the crew you have remaining. Below the picture is your attack power. Below the attack power is your defense power. These guys would never land damage on us because our defense is higher than their attack. Um, after a bit a deck battle becomes available that is what this button right here is you click on it and your character actually fights in third person on the deck of the enemy ship I never got the hang of deck battles myself so I usually don't bother with it and that is an advanced um, lesson I think they wait until you're at moderate difficulty maritime tutorial to focus on that and then down here is the retreat if you're ever sure you're gonna lose then you click on that and it attempts to make you retreat when that happens your ships go free of each other and the sea battle continues as before somewhere up here on the top right um, will be the skills and some skills help during combat for instance I have assault which means a bunch of crazy dudes with swords jump over onto the enemy ship and start messing things up um, there should be three skills like that that help you in combat and they function like rock paper scissors I believe that uh, I can't, I'm not actually sure what that is, but, um, alright, let's get back to the main event. Alright, so right now we are headed out to where I know a decently tough group is. We will be hunting whaling ships. That's right, my arch nemesis. We're going to be headed out to the west of the British Isles where some armed whaling ships will be our next target. As, you, as you've just seen, uh, pirates like to jump out at you. Sometimes you get attacked by a fleet you can't see and that means it's time to rumble but you may not necessarily be prepared there is a skill called lookout that allows you to see these ambushes coming um, I usually just don't use it in, in more friendly waters because I can usually take care of the ambush fleets 
although they are much tougher than the ones that you see just hanging around. Up here we've got a fairly promising fight. Oh my gosh, it's a hooker! <laughs> Alright. We were not able to find the armed whalers. They don't always show up or they're just spawning after somebody else killed them. So we'll be combining everything we've learned so far on these poor pirates. Let's do it. Alright. Remember, getting the first shot in is not necessarily always the answer. You should, you should actually take up some time to allow your cannons to overcharge. In ships you get later in the game, there will be rear cannons. Like this one. You'll note the icons that are on the top left of the ship's names. White flag means surrender. Blue flag means they're defending. Uh, blue shield. The red sword means they're the attacker. And if they've got a dude next to them, that means that they're the captain. And if you take out that ship, then the others will surrender. All right, let's board this fool. Hey buddy, I'm here to take your gold. Hey, hey, get back here. I want your gold. There we go. Use assault, which is a melee battle skill. They're trying to run away and they failed. So we just wait for their people to drain because they're so much more awesome than them. And there we go. Uh oh, they retreated. Fine, let's just end them then. Are cannons ready yet? Cannons are ready. Fire everything into their butt. A critical, excellent. Ooh, we got a shipwreck map piece. Um. Sometimes they drop those and you activate them to know where a shipwreck is and you go raise that to get some yummy money. Alright, so I'm gonna kill these guys over here too just because I'm sadistic and enjoy this part of the game. Um, I should be heading back in a bit though so I don't drown and when I say drown, I mean run out of food and water, so then the crew throws me in the ocean, and I drown. Um, that should be everything for now, I think. You should now know the basics of defending yourself on the high seas, and not running into rocks on the high seas. That should be everything. Maybe I'll do more videos of this nature. Uh, let me know in the comments. Um, also, like if you know your your fingers are not worn out from liking other videos. <laughs> so, this has been Whale Cow, and until next time, I am officially signing off. All right, Bristol Pirates, I am going to eat you.